Hello everyone and welcome to Searcher Tech Channel. Today we're gonna use a servo motor. This is a little servo motor SG90. So this is a pretty popular servo motor. We're gonna use it with an Arduino Uno. So we're gonna need three jump wires and we'll see code we're gonna use for this servo. So first of all we should wire this servo. Servo have three wires. One for ground and one for VCC and one for signal. So the ground goes to the ground of Arduino, VCC for 5 volt, and the signal signal we put it in a, one of the pins here. I put it in the pin number 6. So we're gonna see some functions, and of course the codes and will be below, so you can download them and use them. So they are simple codes. First of all, we're gonna use a, a code that uses the functions myservo.attach and then other function myservo.write uh, attach function permits to identify which pin the signal is connected so you, you write myservo.attach and between brackets the number of the pin you are using so I'm gonna upload first a code that uh, positions the servo on the zero for three seconds then position it for in the position 180 this is a servo that goes from zero to 180 degrees so we have 0, wait 3 seconds and we have 180 degree and it keep looping here the code we will see here is a code from the servo example it used the sweep and it's moved from 0 to 180 but smoothly not like uh, this I will upload it You see how it moves here from 0 to 180. Now we will use a, a function that's called detach. And now in the Arduino, I uploaded a code that uh, uses a simple attach and a simple write on the position 90. You see, I cannot move it by my hand. If I force it too much, I will break it. Or if I have a big servo, I couldn't move it by my hand. That's why sometimes you need the, this function detach so you can use it, so you can move it by your hand freely. And now I will upload uh, the uh, a program that contains the detach fun function. Now I cannot move it. And now I make the detach function. You see, I can move it freely. Then it came back for three, for five seconds. Now I can't move it. Now it's free to move. It came back. Now sometimes it, this function is very useful. So that's it for the function of the servo motor. There is also a read function that permits you to read from the position of the servo written before and print it on the serial monitor or on the on an LCD. So that's all for the servo motor with the Arduino. I hope you like it. If you have any question, you can contact me on the Facebook page. All codes will be in the link below. Thanks for watching.